Uh, JR, uh, a 2-1 overtime win in Game 2 against the Barry Colts. Uh, as always, curious to get your thoughts on uh, how the team uh, rebounded from uh, Game 1 just a couple days ago. Yeah, I mean, I thought we played pretty well in Game 1. We made a couple of mistakes. Today, I thought it was another good, solid game. Gave up one on a PK where we made a mistake on a PK. Um, but other than that, I thought we were really good. So it feels good to win. Um, obviously, we know the uh, two games have been so similar. Um, do you feel like you deserve to win it today just a little bit more than uh, Friday? No. Was it pretty equal? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought we played really well in game one. And I thought we deserved to win, but we didn't. We made a couple mistakes and we lost. Today, we limited the mistakes, you know. We, we didn't give... We give up more on the uh, on the PK today than we normally do, so we'll take a look at that on film and see what we can correct on our PK and see if we can do a better job there. But man, I like the effort. I like the energy. Uh, we stuck with it more today. Our D weren't taking so many offensive chances. They played D, and uh, yeah, we thought it was a good hockey game. Um, what was the reasoning for going with Miso on uh, the second line? He was kind of in there at time and uh, yeah. stopped out at some points, but uh, did you like what you saw? Yeah, that you know, Miso's speed backs off the defenders. You saw in the power play goal that we scored, that was Miso. Misa backed him off, so we got possession in there. And, and uh, so I know he's young. <laughs> I know he's really young. But, man, he's, he's so dynamic with the puck. So if I can get him out there... You know, neutral zone, offensive zone starts. Uh, he, he did start in a couple D zone plays. Um, he's so smart and so fast that, you know, he creates so much for us. So um, trying to use as many guys as we can, especially with back-to-back -back games. I know Stubbsy's ice. I haven't looked at it. Stubbsy's ice was down. Dodig's and Schwinn's were down a little bit. So I got to do a better job there. Obviously, uh, game three is coming up tomorrow night. Just wanted to get your thoughts on how you and the team are feeling going into Barry tomorrow night. We're feeling better than we did on uh, <laughs> Friday. So, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll watch film right now for a few hours, figure out what we can do better, and uh, and let the guys know, and, and they're going to get rest, and we'll get at it again tomorrow. Um, I, know, I know he's kind of... <laughs> I'll get back to you. Uh, I know he's kind of fallen out of the top six lately, but uh, Ty Collins, he's played really well today. Uh, he's somebody with uh, previous uh, playoff yeah. experience. So championship when you say he fell out of top six, his minutes were top three last game. Okay. So that, you know, that, but it's funny you say that. Because, goals, no, no, but yeah. yeah. So what people see is how the, the lines right. go out, and he was top three minutes last game. Okay. I thought Ty was a hell of a lot better today than he was last game. His energy was much better. He was compete level was much better. And he got rewarded with a goal, I think a goal, and then uh, he made a couple of great plays. So so he hasn't fallen out of anything. Okay. His minutes were up last game. So, but, but it's the same. I mean, I get the calls from agents and everybody else. Yeah. Um, still, he's uh, somebody, if you, if you look back, he has uh, playoff experience, uh, championship experience, even if his playing time during that was uh, limited with him being a rookie. Uh, do you know if he's somebody that uh, is called upon often for advice from teammates about the playoffs? No. Uh, you know what? Too many of them haven't played in the playoffs because Ty was with Guelph, right? And yeah. then came to us, but the next year, so. Um, no, it's it, it's really a, a rookie room, really. okay. you know, when you look at it. They got four NHL forwards. We don't have any, right? So we've got to really put our work helmets on and work boots and, and try to keep the game away from them. And to accommodate the, the back-to-back tomorrow, can we see a guy like uh, Calum Chisholm get some minutes tomorrow? Or, or as of right now, depending on how they Yeah, I don't think I'm going to, unless the doctors tell me something different, I don't see a reason to change a, a winning lineup because, you know, really I didn't get I didn't get Dodig enough minutes, I didn't get Schwinner enough minutes, Stubbsy not enough minutes, and Misa not enough minutes. So there's four guys there that could probably play more for us, right? So, uh, you know, Chizzy's ready to go in, Binny's ready to go in on the right side, so and Ford Julian's ready to go in. So we'll just uh, unless the doctors tell me something different, I wouldn't expect any changes. And uh, for the starting goal tomorrow, I'm going faster in the range of the don't know that yet until I talk to. I haven't. Uh, I haven't talked to the Bex yet. So back-to-back -back days, a little tough to do. But 
pretty darn good today. So we'll see what Beck says. And uh, yeah, you know, I talked to Beck, and then he'll he'll let me know tonight. Yeah, I think we played really well, you know, um, doing a lot of the right things out there and um, at the end of the game, uh, you know, Becker comes down and kind of kind of rips it. So I think, you know, pretty special ending and, and I know we're really happy to kind of get that win and, you know, losing the first one in overtime, you know, you're happy to get the second one. Um, you know, I think we played well the first game as well. So uh, coming into the second game, we knew how to kind of keep that same thing and, and we'll get our bounces and, and we did. So it's a pretty special uh, feeling when you win in overtime and your fans uh, you know, are pretty happy. So overall, pretty, pretty exciting. And in between game, uh, game one on Friday to now, do you think uh, at practice session uh, changed for you guys in terms of being able to get over that overtime uh, against the team that just two days ago sadly lost to Yeah, I think uh, just getting down to some of the details, you know, um, some of the plays around the blue lines and um, just really focusing on our defensive game and uh, not, not giving up any chances. And I think we kind of did that tonight, and that's why things worked out. And another big performance by Roman Bass in the 31 game for him. Uh, just whenever he's in that, uh, how confident uh, to, uh, do yourself as gamers uh, feel when he's able to yeah, having Baz behind us, uh, I think uh, just as a team, we're, we're really confident. And, you know, uh, if you mess up, he's going to be there to make the save. So I think uh, any team that has a, a, a goalie behind you that you can be confident with, it just makes you play that much better. And I know the last time we talked um, compared to then and now, of course, you signed your entry level contract with Chicago. Congratulations on that. Um, just in terms of being able to put the pen to paper and make things official there on that front, person for you. Uh, what are the emotions feeling like being able to get that done? Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, just excited. Um, I know uh, to finally put the pen to paper and, and kind of sign with them, be part of that organization. It's it's really special and um, kind of excited to, to move forward with them. But uh, not forgetting what I what I got here and, and focusing on the playoffs right now. And lastly, uh, tomorrow in Barry Game Three, uh, what do you think you guys need to do to uh, maintain the momentum that you gained today? Uh, in, uh, Taking it to Barry's yeah. yeah, I think uh, just continue with that uh, same intensity that we uh, had in this game. And, um, you know, I think uh, bounce will come our way. And, and if we're playing well and um, going into away arena, we know that they're going to have a, their home crowd. So I think you got kind of just want to play with that and, um, you know, come with our best attitude and, and, and hard work. Uh, Owen, a huge uh, one man effort uh, to win the overtime, to get the overtime goal for you. We saw the Steelheads uh, curious to get a breakdown for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, just swinging low in the zone, uh, saw the rim coming to uh, Schwinner there and made a good play on the wall, um, got my feet going, um, you know, turned up ice and, uh, <clears throat> you know, th felt, uh, you know, it was kind of time to, you know, try try something and, uh, you know, made a made a good move to the middle, uh, found the spot for our side as uh, Guzzo was coming over and uh, picked my spot. Tough game on Friday and now to come back and win this game in overtime, how are you feeling after that? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, you know, it wasn't... Uh, wasn't the result we were hoping for uh, a couple days ago, and um, <clears throat> but you know we put that in the back of my, uh, in the back of our minds, stuck to our system, uh, and it worked out for us. Um, I get the sense that you're not that expressive of a guy in a lot of occasions, but uh, just when you scored that goal and you were thinking of everything, maybe on Friday, uh, how, how much emotion came out of you <laughs> at that point? Well, uh, you know I had a celly in mind, uh, kind of like okay. <laughs> kind of like Austin Matthews. Uh, <laughs> Austin Matthews in Dallas there where there's no reaction, but you know, it was uh, after you know being down 1-0 and uh, winning it over, winning it in overtime, you know, the uh, the emotions came out and uh, you know, I was super excited. So yeah, it's it's tough to keep that one contained. We got another game coming up, game three tomorrow in Barry. Uh, just wondering what you can do to prepare for a game like that coming up. Uh, yeah, I mean we're just in the gym uh, doing a cool down. Got to make sure we eat right, sleep well, drink lots of water. Um, you know, ice any injuries that we have, and uh, make sure we're uh, as prepared as we can be for tomorrow. Um, you see, this season it's just been razor thin. The margins in this one is that uh, something you entered the playoffs expecting? Yeah, I mean, if you look back to uh, earlier in the year, we were a very defensive team. Um, and, you know, we kind of got away from that, and that's what uh, kind of caused us to slide a little bit uh, later in the year. But, you know, we're really trying to focus on uh, getting back to it. And, um, you know, we, we've done a good job. I know we didn't get the result in game one, but, uh, you know, we've, we've kept it to a low-scoring game, and uh, we've, we've played well.